there'll be times when the direction of the tree's natural lean isn't facing the desired direction of fall. Depending on the extent of the lean and the distribution of weight in the crown, you can pull a tree away from its natural lean by using uneven hinge wood and also helping it with wedges. The first step is to cut the scarf facing the direction you want to send the tree in. If it's a small tree, you can then do a single back cut, standing on the side that's away from the lean. Make the hinge wood thinner on the leaning side and thicker on the other side to give it more strength, because this is the side that has to pull against the natural lean of the tree. On larger trees, start the back cut on the side of the natural lean. This is the compression side, because the fibres are being compressed by the weight of the tree. Continue the back cut towards the opposite side, that is, the tension side, where the wood fibres are being stretched. When you finish the cut, you'll be in a position to escape. Note that the escape route is away from the side of the lean. Wedges are useful to lift the tree away from its lean and towards the desired direction of fall. Tap the wedge into the back cut at about 45 degrees to the scarf line and continue to drive it in further as you progress with the cut. This fellow is using two wedges to pull a tree around to the right. So the wedges go on the left hand side, which is the side of the natural lean, and the hinge wood will be thicker on the right. There are various types of wedges, each with its own advantage. Short plastic wedges are good for small trees, where you don't need much of a lift. Longer, wider plastic wedges are better if the wood is a bit spongy or soft, or if you need to lift the tree higher. Aluminium wedges are more versatile, but they can be harder to drive in on a heavy lift because of their steeper angle. And steel wedges are much more durable, but unlike the other wedges, they'll ruin the chain if you accidentally cut into them. Before we leave the topic of uneven hinge wood, it's worth mentioning that you still need to make allowance for the fact that the head of the tree won't fall exactly in line with the direction the scarf is facing, even after you've pulled the tree away from its direction of natural lean, because the lean itself will keep the head off-centre. So you need to bear that in mind when you're thinking about the exact line of fall that you're aiming for. Now let's look at a technique you can use for falling a small tree in the opposite direction to its natural lean. Some people call this the pierce and wedge method. The first step is to cut the scarf slightly shallower than normal so that you've got more room for the back cut, which will give you more wedging leverage. Then put a bore cut in from the front, through the middle of the scarf and out the back, making sure that there's plenty of hinge wood on either side. Go around to the back of the tree and drive a wedge into the bore cut. Put two back cuts into the tree either side of the bore cut and slightly higher. Continue to drive the wedge into the bore cut as you work on the back cuts until the tree can be wedged over. <laughs> 